princess in the animal skin. Three, two, one, action. Long time ago, an old king and his daughter, Jolda, lived in a big palace. One day, I'm getting old. She must rule the kingdom after I pass away. Servant! Servant! Yes, Your Majesty. Call Julida. Yes. Your Majesty would like to have a word with you. Okay. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yes, Father. Jirida, listen to me, daughter. In three days' time, I want you to marry and be the queen of the land. But, Father, I'm still young, and I told you I don't want to marry that old man. He's not. End ever. of discussion. I already made up my mind. Jolda didn't want to get married to that man and become a queen. She thought deeply until she finally found a fabulous idea without anybody noticing. She went to the king's stable. Oh, Hello, Tello. It's so nice to see you. How are you? I am a bit older, but I am doing fine. How can I help you? Make me a coat of animal skin. But please, keep that between us. I don't want anybody to know. Oh, don't worry, dear. Come tomorrow after the sunset. Jolda was very nervous and waited for the coat to be ready so she can start her plan. The next day, Is my coat ready? Yes, please try it. When Jolda put on the coat, she was not beautiful. She was ugly. This is perfect. Thank you, Taylor. You're welcome. Jolda ran away from her father. She walked for five days and then arrived to a land far away. She went to the queen's palace. Hello. Can I go away? I'm lost and homeless. Please wait here. I'll be right back. Your Majesty, there's a girl on the door looking for a job. Call her. Come in. Yes, what's your name? My name is Julita. Julita. Hmm, you can be a servant in the kitchen. Thank you. Okay, come here. No one knew that Julita was the daughter of a king. One day there was a party in the king's palace. The queen and all the servants went to the party. Jordan took off her animal skin coat. She also went to the party. What a beautiful girl. She can marry my son. Prince, listen to me, son. You should think of your future. What do you mean? Do you see that girl? Go and tell to her.
After the party, Gerda went back to the kitchen in her endless skin coat. There was a second party and again Gerda took off her endless skin coat and went to the party. And again the prince danced with her. The two had a good time together, but when the party was over, Gilda wanted to run back to the kitchen, but the prince took her hand. Where are you going? Where do you live? Why are you so good like that? I live in the land of spoon and dishes. That's a weird game. Gilda managed disappear quickly. The prince's ring fell into Jolda's hand. She ran back to the kitchen. The prince didn't run after Jolda. Right after the party was over, the queen said to the servants, Servant, servant. Majesty, make six cakes for the prince to eat. He's going on a hunting trip, and the cakes will give him strength. As, As you wish, wish, Your Majesty. Majesty, you can go now. When it was time for him to leave, the servants came and gave him the cakes. They prepared in a big basket. Your Highness. She's lovely, you don't eat her cake. The prince was angry with the servant. He was sorry for the ugly girl in the animal skin coat. Give me your cake. Give me it, Your Highness, but I'll be cake. Do I know you? Me? No, no, Your Highness. It must be someone else. Okay. Your Highness, everything is ready. We better be off. Okay, let's move. The two went off to their hunting trip in the forest. The prince got tired and hungry. The cake smelled taste. Would you like to take a break? Yes, of course. Your Highness, here are the piles of goodies. That one. The prince suddenly found a shiny blue ring. This is my ring. I lost it yesterday at the party. The prince returned quickly back to the palace. Let's go home. What's happening? Why are you turn so early? He told his mother the story about the ring. It's my ring. I lost it yesterday at the party. I found it in Jordan's cake. Maybe she stole the ring. She's servant after all. No, I think there's a secret. This girl is hiding. Jolida! Jolida! I wasn't mistaken this morning. Will you marry me? 
Jogda was shocked and shy. She told him the whole story. Listen to me, friends. First, you shall know my story. It's long and complicated, but the truth must be said. I'm a princess from a faraway land. I ran away from my father because he wanted me to marry an old, wealthy woman. I knew that. I had the feeling you got royal blood, but that was important. The prince went to, the, to her father, the king, to ask him if he could marry his daughter. Hello, Your Majesty. I am George, the prince from Spain. I came here today to ask you if I could marry George. The king was astonished. Oh, goodness, I thought she was lost. Oh, Dad, please forgive me. Of course, I forgive you. Let's celebrate your back and celebrate your marriage with the one you chose. Oh, I can't believe my eye. Jolida. Hi, Taylor. Welcome, Your Highness. Long time no see. Please meet my fiance, the Prince of Spain. Wow, that's a great news. Nice to meet you, Your Highness. Nice to meet you. How can I help you? Make me a white dress uh, and a fancy tuxedo. Yeah, of course. Everybody in the kingdom came to the wedding party. The prince and Jolda were married and lived happily ever after. The end. My name is Asil and I'm serving Tom. My name is Elias, I'm the king. My name is Justine, I'm the My name is Zia, I'm the servant. My name is Omar, I am queen. My name is Adam, I am the prince. My name is Talian, I am Julita. My name is Evie, I am the storyteller. And Iris is too! Jolida! Animal skin! I found it in... Sol! <laughs> That's not good! Oh my god. <laughs>